Okay, welcome to the Crow Show. Um, this is footage of the clips from the other night, and let me get your mind in the right frame for what this clip's about. Uh, I'm trying to quickly get it out as I go through the remaining 130 plus clips that I made that night. Here's the problem. With my eyes, I could see color in the eclipse. With my camera and just a lens, I could see color in the eclipse. With the very same camera settings through my telescope, all I get is black and white. Even when I move my settings around, switch to manual, adjusted ISO, everything, and then set it back to what I normally film the moon at, I could not get color through my telescope. Nothing. Black and white. Uh, this is not normal. And so let's plunk the evidence I have down, and at the end we'll ask if anyone can debunk it, basically. So here is Mars at the very end of the night. Um, this clip is shot at 12.39, and you should bear in mind that totality for me began at 12.07. Mid-totality is 12.46, so this is right in the middle of totality. The first thing you'll notice is it doesn't look like totality. Um, half of that body up there is still very unevenly lit. Um, that's not totality. Um, there's a lot of junk in the air, by the way. I quit filming because the amount of cloud cover and mist and everything coming. But here it is. There's the color. You can see with the camera. It's similar to what I could see with my eyes. So, totality began for me at 12.07. Mid-totality was 12.46. And the end of the total eclipse was at 1.25. And we're talking about the center umbral shadow. The time of this clip is 12.39 or 7 minutes before mid-total eclipse. And again, does that look like a total eclipse? To me, it does not. Um, but what we're going to do here is show you uh, video shot through the telescope with the very same camera settings here in a second that shows a whole different view of the moon. And these clips are a minute apart. There it is. Um, this was shot at 12.38, one minute before the footage you just saw. Black and white. Uh, it looks a lot closer to totality, but you can still see that lit edge. Now bear in mind, total eclipse should have been there at 12.07. But the real problem is, where's the color? My camera settings are the same. Uh, I have manipulated every which way, but in this video, I'm back to standard, balanced, true color settings that I always shoot with, and there's no color. Um, so now I'm going to show you the difference um, from a little bit earlier in the night. On the top, you have my ISO setting adjusted so you can see features. On the bottom is the typical set settings, so it's all washed out. So this one is with my ISO adjusted down to the point where I can see features and we'll flip right back here and then this one is the standard camera setting black and white and actually so white that on that half of the moon you can barely see anything now to top things off at the end of the night I was trying to get my camera in focus get it on the tripod I accidentally snapped off a shot and got this which is a bit strange um, that's spica on the right, the star spica, and then there's the moon. What's that big beam coming in? It's just weird. But anyhow, moving past that, here's all three of them together. On the left, we have my camera with a lens in true color. On the bottom, we have the telescope in the camera in what I'm calling true color. That just means nothing's jacked up. It's balanced, so if I took a snapshot, it would look like true color to us. Now on the top moon image, is the telescope and the camera with my ISO reduced to the point that the right half of the lit moon doesn't look so washed out. But here's the problem. Why is there no color through the telescope? Nothing. Zippo. Um, it doesn't make sense. Now, coming up here, here's a snapshot I took as we were getting ready to begin filming the clip. So this is shortly before the eclipse begins. And I don't have my typical city light filter on, but you can see there's green there. There's, you know, some deep purpley, bluey looking, you know, there's color. And that's a snapshot with the exact same camera settings that I'm videoing the moon with. Um, it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, people who use telescopes refer to them as light buckets. The reason they're referred to in this way is because they collect light. So... If, in fact, we're looking at a red or an orange eclipse, we're looking at the longest spectrum of light, at the red end of the spectrum. If I've got a 
telescope collecting more of it, why do I see black and white? How come I can't see any color? Um, it just doesn't wash with me. Something is wrong. Particularly since, you know, the day before the eclipse or just prior to the eclipse, I posted that clip about the blood moon that was getting repeated inappropriately over and over and over. Uh, not just misused, but used in a way that's, you know, a bit much. So here it is. Does anybody know of some footage, video footage, that was shot of this eclipse we just had through a telescope or at high magnification through a telescope like this footage that shows color? Um, right now I can't even find an observatory. I know DSW-74 found an observatory that broadcast, but they did it with like a handy cam or some consumer grade camera, not through a telescope. Um, you know, as I think about the hologram wave, and I think about totality not occurring when it's supposed to, and I think about I can see color, I can film it with just my lens and camera, but at high magnification, black and white, I mean, it's adding up to something, but for the life of me, it's a bit baffling. So um, maybe someone really smart out there can get back to me and explain this in a way that I'll say, oh, aha, that's it. But until then, um, something's up here. Um, it's not, not correct. What I am seeing here, I can't rationalize in my mind in a scientific or logical way. And so there it is. If anyone knows of somebody who shot the eclipse through a telescope and actually recorded color, and I'm talking video here, not a snapshot. I'm talking an extended piece of video that we can look at. I'd really appreciate it. I'd love to see that footage. So there it is, uh, the blood moon that was actually a black and white eclipse. Cheers.